okay, 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 okay. There you go. So I want to show you guys my new pets I recently got. I actually got these a few weeks ago. This is a pet that I've been wanting a really long time. My friend actually has a colony of them. He sold me a handful of them. These are actually called Halloween hissing cockroaches. And in the spirit of Halloween, I was fortunate enough to get a bunch of these guys. So far they've been a lot of fun. I just put one on my face for the thumbnail and I wish I recorded that because I hated every minute of it. Their legs are very roach-like. They have those little hooks and they just, you know, the things I do for YouTube. So when I went over to my friend's house, I was very inspired by his roach enclosures. He has a ton of different species of roaches and really cool, elaborate, huge roach enclosures. Like that's primarily what he keeps. And I was just really inspired. So when I got these guys, I really wanted to set them up something amazing. And setting them up something amazing doesn't happen overnight, unfortunately. So for the past couple weeks, I've actually been putting together pretty much like this roach utopia. So before I show you the enclosure, and I move these guys into the enclosure. Let's take a little look back on the past couple weeks of what I've worked on putting together and give you an idea of all the ridiculous effort that I just put in to an enclosure for roaches. <laughs> all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's not 100%, but I think it's fine. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is like, do it like this, see? And then do this like pumpkin. You know, so because they're they're pump they're Halloween hissing cockroaches, so they need a pumpkin, obviously. But I think that'll look good, don't you? And then I'm obviously gonna add like a plant and some cork bark and stuff too. But like that should be like pretty good. Well, maybe I should just like do. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. All right, I'm just gonna start. It's nice and messy. Yeah. Okay, and then now I'm gonna put this in, and then we will um, calm it down. Add it more like this. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm out already. Am I out? No. Oh, okay. You gotta shake it periodically too. Right? Oh no, <laughs> am I doing this right? Looks like a whole bunch of uh, 4th of July snakes. It does. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Right here. Why is there, okay. Like this, yeah? Yeah. That looks good, right? Beautiful. Festive. It does. It looks like very Halloween y, you know? Filled with many uh, little nymphs. I mean, obviously, you know, we're gonna have to get more to do the sides, but, and I'm gonna probably have to end up carving out some of this as well, but I think that this will look really cool. Do you think these roaches are gonna like it? You know what? I don't think roaches have much of an opinion on anything, but this is gonna be the first time ever. Roaches will have an opinion on something. You think so? Yeah.
so we are on like day or attempt three. I don't know. I, I'm not done. This is like step three. This should all be dry. So obviously day one, we did the background. And then a couple days later, I did this side. And then I did this side right after that. So I'm pretty happy with how it is, except unfortunately, like a lot of the dirt didn't stick on this side. And also I kind of cut it a little close, like I feel like the door can't shut as good and also there's some foam that is like at the top that would keep the screen top from fitting correctly so i'm gonna carve away some of it the only issue that i really have that i'm running into doing that is removing like the top layer which has the dirt stuck in it and i feel like it looks ugly without the dirt stuck in it so that kind of sucks so i'm gonna cut it down and then i guess try to figure out how to make it less ugly i'd really like to get the roaches in this by like tomorrow and finish this video because it's been taking forever obviously but i don't know i don't want it to be you know ugly after putting all this effort into it i want to be really happy with how the enclosure turns out completely so i'm not really gonna settle like if this, if something's bothering me then i'm just gonna keep working on it until i'm happy with it so i guess let's start carving away and see what our options are from there and hopefully we can finish it today and actually get the roaches moved into it tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow So here we are back to present day. I just finished putting this enclosure together this morning. I put the finishing touches on it. I didn't film that part, but I'm gonna show you their enclosure and we are going to move these guys over one by one. So here is the roach enclosure. It is the ultimate Halloween hissing cockroach roach enclosure. I wanted to do an arboreal setup because a lot of his arboreal setups were really cool and I never really thought to house roaches that way, but it actually makes a lot of sense. They do like to climb. And so my goal for this was to give them a lot of climbing room and a lot of places to hide and also places where there is light and there is dark. So even though the final enclosure, you might not be able to see like everything that's inside just because it did get a little busy. Rest assured, there are tons of hiding places for them, especially in the dark, and it's gonna be pretty freaking sweet. So let's go ahead and start moving them over into their new enclosure. So here are three right here. Let's go ahead and move them over first, I guess. You guys are supposed to go in the enclosure, not under it. I know, I know, I know. You know, it's easier said than done. There you go. And they're all going right down into this tube down there. I know I have like one or two females in here, but it's mostly males. I do want babies. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look how amazing their pattern is. I am so in love. These are probably the prettiest roaches I've ever seen. Okay, 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 okay. There you go. Another. I believe that this one is actually a female. She has littler horns on her head. Oh my goodness. So pretty.
All right, so I think there's actually just one more. I'm gonna go through the substrate to make sure. Okay, 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 okay. There you go. Okay, I believe that's it. So yeah, I'm finally done with the enclosure. The roaches seem to like it so far. They're a little nervous and they're a little pissed that I just held them and everything. But overall, I think they're gonna be pretty happy with how it turned out. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and contact my friend and see if I can pick up just like a couple more females, maybe a couple more males, just because generally they do like to huddle together. They do like to be together. And I would like to get the breeding process kind of picking up and going because I really do want some babies and stuff. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had a lot of fun actually building this enclosure. It really helped me get in the Halloween spirit, which is what I was really hoping to do. Maybe it got you guys into the Halloween spirit as well. I don't know. But this species of roach is absolutely the coolest. I love how they hiss. I love their colors. They're a lot of fun to keep. They're really interactive once they get comfortable. And I reused this Exoterra. So I actually had this Exoterra from Rain my crested gecko this was his first enclosure and it was in my mom's basement forever but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like it if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i'm gonna do is probably way too much it's at tarantula that cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon podcast and a teespring it is all linked down below i will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet picks 